want to share with you four tips that I think will be most helpful to get you started well. <coughs> Number one, all the gear, all the time, and that starts with this auto darkening helmet. Because that welding flame is so bright that even if you glance at it briefly from the middle of the room, you could get severe and permanent eye damage. Anytime you look at a welding flame, it must be through the lens of an auto darkening helmet. Like that. Now, welding gloves, welding sleeves, welding apron, and a fire shirt. Also known as a welding shirt, sometimes referred to as a welding jacket. Number two, proper electrical circuit. So you check the draw of your welder, and then you make sure that you're running it on a circuit that's capable of handling that load. If you don't have such a robust circuit, or you don't know how to check for that, then that's actually a separate video. Number three is ample lighting. So this 100 watt standard bulb produces around 1600 lumens of light, while this $50 Harbor Freight work light produces 12,000 lumens of light. That's important because that welding flame is very bright. This auto darkening helmet will get very dark around the welding flame so you need to properly illuminate this work area as much as possible so you can actually see where you're welding. And number four is on vertical welds, go from the bottom up. I say this because when you see a lot of tutorials online, they show it on a horizontal flat surface where you're welding like so. And that's great for practice, but a lot of your actual welds are gonna be vertical and you want to make sure that you're going from the bottom on up. You can think of it like doing siding on a house or roofing shingles where you're starting the first layer at the lowest point and each subsequent layer overlaps the previous one on up. I want to keep the focus of this video on those four things, but I, I encourage you to exhaustively research other tips and techniques. And happy welding!